Hey everybody. So if you're a teacher or an instructor, you likely have a lot of quizzes and exams in a Word document format that you might want to get into Blackboard as a Blackboard test or quiz. So there's no direct way to go and take a Word document and insert it into Blackboard. There is, however, a way to get a Word document into Blackboard, but this involves an intermediate step where you convert your Word document to a text document, more specifically a tab delimited text document. And then if it's formatted properly, that tab delimited text document can be uploaded into Blackboard. So you can upload that this text document into Blackboard as your exam questions. Okay, so now I'm gonna make a little mini history quiz to illustrate some points on how you can use Microsoft Excel to generate a tab delimited text file that is necessary if you want to upload questions and quizzes and tests into Blackboard. So you need this general format where the first column is the question type, the second column is the question itself, and then the, the subsequent columns can be answers to the questions and whether or not those answers are correct or incorrect based on the type of question. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes not. So multiple choice, that's a type of question that's denoted MC. You would then type in your question. So if this is about geography, what is the largest country in the world. Russia is one of the choices there. And since Russia is the largest country, you would then put correct in the next cell. And then you would create uh, incorrect answers since this is a multiple choice question. Let's say United States. That's incorrect. Let's say China, incorrect, both large, but not larger than Russia. Then let's say Guam, definitely, definitely not Guam. Okay, so that's an example for a multiple choice question. Uh, there's also true false questions. So those are denoted TF. And as with every question in the second column, you put the question itself. So true or false. There are six continents in the world, if I can spell. And then for true false in these in this answer section, so in the next column, you would just put whether or not this is true or whether whether it's whether or not it's true or false. So this one is false. There's seven continents. There can be a type of question called essay, an essay question, ESS. This is just a question type where you want your student to type in a response. So as an example, list the four major oceans. And then they'll get that question and they'll have an empty box to type in and they'll type in Atlantic, Pacific, Indian, and Arctic if they wanna get that correct. And then finally, another question type, multiple answer, denoted MA. So this is like a multiple choice question, but instead of there being only one correct answer, there are multiple correct. And you need to denote those. You need to denote which are correct, all that are correct. So which of the following are continents? Let's say the United States. Now that's not correct. The United States is not a continent. Asia is, Africa is a continent. Uh, finally, uh, Fiji, not a continent, Fiji. So learn some geography here. Okay, so this is all I wanted to sh show for a little mini quiz as far as the questions go. So we want to get this into a tab delimited text file from here. So firstly, we need to get rid of this top 
row. We can't have extraneous text, otherwise Blackboard's not going to know what to do with it. It's not going to load. So there we go. Now we want to save this. Save as. We want to go here. It's already labeled as geography test. Go down on the drop down menu. It would by default want to save this as an Excel workbook, but we don't want that. We want to save it as this a text tab delimited file. This one. So you would select that. You would um, select where you want to save it on your computer. I already have it saved, but we'll replace it anyway. Save to the, to the desktop. So let's see what it looks like. So here we are. This is our text file, our tab delimited text file that it looks good. So every question is in its own separate row. Everything's delimited by a tab. Um, so this should load into Blackboard when we go to load. So this is what you are looking for in a tab delimited text file. So let's see what happens. Let's go to, if we go to Blackboard, if you go down to, you go to course tools, navigate down to test surveys and pools, click tests. And we will, I didn't delete this from earlier. Let's delete that first. Let's build a test and let's call it geography. And from here, you want to upload questions. So click on upload questions, browse your computer, and you want to upload those questions that are here, that are in that text document, that tab delimited text document format. They need to be in this tab delimited text format. Hit open, submit, and so these should load. Let's see how it looks. So what's the largest country in the world? Russia. There are six continents in the world, false. List the four major oceans. So here the answer would be input by your students. And then a multiple answer question, which of the following are continents? And it has the correct ones um, checkmarked here. So that all went according to plan for this little example. So that was a made up example, a made up geography quiz. So let's talk about actual exams that you might have in Word document format, like this one, for example. This is an actual exam that I have for a human biology class. So it's in this Word document format. And I went ahead and for the multiple choice questions, I added an exclamation mark next to the correct choice. So keep that in mind. So for any exam or quiz, I figure there's three ways you could get it into Blackboard. You could go ahead and Go question by question, select the question type, copy paste the question and the answers into Blackboard. You could use a computer program that I am going to show you that I that I wrote that can convert this into that Excel format that you can then get into Blackboard. And then thirdly, there's a hybrid approach that I'm going to show um, a little bit of that can save a little bit of time. So the the, the point here is to save time. So the copy paste directly into Blackboard, that's tedious, time consuming, took about, I tried it for this quit, this exam, took about 25 minutes. Um, so that's not ideal. So for this exam, let's show you, it's a combination of multiple choice and what Excel would call essay questions where you write in the answer. So Let's take these, take all the questions of this exam, put it into copy, paste, matching the destination formatting into Excel. So there we go. We got the Word document into Excel. There's all the questions. Then 
this is an Excel document, an Excel workbook that's formatted that contains the code to convert this into the format that we saw in the geography example. So here's the code, run the code. We got presto changeo. We went from the Word document format to this format that we want. Um, so this little quirk pops up here. That Q2 stayed around for some reason, um, but the rest of them, it looks good. So we can go from here. Save this, we'll save this as Presto Changeo. Again, we want to save these as text tab delimited files, that one. Save it to the desktop. And then if we go to Blackboard, build the test, call it Presto Changeo. Upload those questions. So those are here, that text document called Presto Changeo. Open it, submit. And it was successful. Question upload successful. So there we go. We have the multiple choice questions with the answer, everything. If we go down. Everything looks good. So that worked. Um, if you want to know, if you want me to send you the code, the Visual Basic code, if you're familiar with that, um, check out the description. I'll leave my email. Or if you just want me to uh, convert documents for you, I can utilize this code. Um, also, check out the description. I'll leave my email. So I had mentioned a, a hybrid approach to doing this. So I'm going to talk about this briefly. I could really make an entire video just on this hybrid approach. approach. Um, again, it's not significantly faster than if you just copy pasted straight into Blackboard, but it's a little bit faster. It took me 25 minutes when I copy pasted into Blackboard directly. It took me about 20 minutes using this approach. So here we're seeing a couple questions, seven or six questions from that exam that I copy pasted along with associated answers into this pre-formatted Excel workbook. So some things to notice, I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail, but if you pause the video, if you want these formulas. So for the question type, you can, I'm assuming that in, for my exams, I only use multiple choice and essay type questions. So this formula will assess whether or not it's a multiple choice or essay question we're dealing with. And for the answers, whether or not it has that exclamation mark is what this formula is deciphering. Actually, it's trying, if it's, if it's blank, it's gonna return nothing because some essay questions, you would want that to be blank. Um, but if it has, that exclamation mark, which means it's correct, it'll return the value one. So we can apply that down, double click here. So that applied correctly, multiple choice is denoted correctly, essay denoted correctly. For all the answers, incorrect, correct. Apply that. So again, one means it's correct, zero means it's incorrect. So the, that's working properly. The one is going where the exclamation mark is. There's zeros where the incorrect answers are, and there's blank cells where there should be blank cells for the essay question. So then from here, it involves um, some formatting. So we no longer need this top row, extraneous text. So get that out of there. Then we're going to want to find and replace some things. So come up here to the find and select, go to replace. 
So we'll want to replace anywhere there's a one, that means that's a correct answer. Where there's a zero, it's incorrect. Oh, you know what? I made an error here. Let's backtrack. So firstly, the first thing we have to do, actually, there's this other step. We need to copy this, copy everything, and just paste the values. Just the values, because there's formulas in those cells. That's why that wasn't working. So that, that's a little bit instructive. Um, so here we are. So now in this sheet, we should do what I said. We should go this find and replace. So again, where there's zeros, those are incorrect. Now it's working. Where there's ones, those are correct. And a final thing is we don't want those exclamation marks. So those exclamation marks that were denoting correct answers, we want those gone now. So you want to find exclamation marks, replace them with nothing. So it did that. So here we are, and then you'd want to delete this original sheet that has the formulas, delete that. And now from here, you can then save this, save as text tab delimited file. So that's how the hybrid approach would work. Again, not great, not ideal, um, but a little bit faster than if you just copy pasted directly into Blackboard. Um, so again, if you want, if you want me to make a whole video on this, let me know. Um, otherwise, that's all I have for that. All right, let's say that you have an exam or a quiz in Blackboard that you want to convert into a Word document. So maybe you just made an entire exam or quiz, you just typed everything in right into Blackboard, and now you want to actually physically hand it out for an in-person class, how can you do that? Well, this is one way to try. So if you highlight all the questions and answers, highlight all those, copy, let's go into Excel and let's paste this and keep the source formatting then highlight the entire column B, copy that, then go paste and paste and keep text only. So paste and keep only the text, this icon, hit that. Um, and there you go, there's all your questions. The problem here is, that there's no formatting, it doesn't number the questions, give additional formatting to the to answer choices, and there's a lot of blank spaces throughout this entire document. But these are issues that, that you could handle, you could get rid of these extra spaces and then format appropriately, or this is an issue that maybe I could develop some sort of automated way to do this. So I want you to go from this Excel in an automated way to convert into a, a more conventional uh, exam or quiz format. So that's just something I thought I would share at the end. I might work more on it and make a, make a video about how to go from a, an Excel exam or test to a Word document. So that might be a, a video I make in the future. Um, but for now, that's all I have. Thank you guys for listening. I hope it was helpful, I hope it was informative or instructive in some way. Thank you.